Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'm here with my good friend Steven. Hey everyone. So I'm going to leave his channel down below if you don't know who he is. One of the best fragrance viewers out there in the game now. He's been doing fragrances for a long time and very knowledgeable about fragrances and he loves fragrances with a passion. So I'm going to leave his channel down below. Definitely check it out and definitely subscribe to his channel. You'll enjoy so much fragrance related content. Thank you. No problem. So today we're talking about new fragrance from Alistair Christian Dior. This is a fragrance battle video I've done before on my channel, so this might be new to Steven, but nevertheless, we're gonna take two fragrances. Um, They do smell similar, and we're gonna let you know which one we prefer over the other one. Price point, how they perform, and is, is one better than the other in this video. If you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and make sure you like the video if you like it, and click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. We're gonna talk about the new fragrance. This is from Christian Dior. This is Vanilla Dorama and we're gonna talk about Fabulicio. So I have a first impression on my channel. I'll definitely leave Steven video whenever he uploads his with his uh, <laughs> with his full review on his channel as well. So we're gonna spray both of them. I think you already you sprayed them already, right? I did, yeah. Okay, you already sprayed them. <laughs> so I'm gonna smell Fabulicio's and he's gonna smell um, Vanilla Dora Rhyme and we're gonna tell us how we feel, let you guys know how we feel about them. <sighs> They're both good. Oh my They're finger. both sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both Gourmand fragrances. So if you're into Gourmand fragrances, this is gonna be a tough one. Yeah, when it comes to Vanilla Diorama, Obviously, you get the vanilla, you get a little bit of like that spicy, boozy, cocoa vibe that's in there. So it's sweet, but in multiple different ways. You have a little bit of that orangey freshness in the opening. It's really, really nice. I like how it kind of goes in a few different directions. At times it's boozy, at times it's sweet, at times it's spicy and even fresh. But this is a really nice gourmand from the brand. Fabulicios. It's more, it's been around for years. It's a, a classic from Dior. I know people were saying they might discontinue it. I was like, oh, I hope they don't. It's amazing fragrance. People say it has been reformulated. I haven't tried out some of the older ones, but I heard they yeah. were powerful. Mine's still powerful. Mine is a 20, I think 17 bottle, wow. 2018. Yeah. So nevertheless, it's strong in your face. You don't need many sprays. You will get noticed wearing this fragrance here, whether you get comments or not. You walk by some of their eyes and be like, whoa, like, yeah. what are you wearing kind of look? And Tonka bean, the vanilla, the praline, it's just, if you like Tonka bean, this is a heavy dose overload Tonka bean fragrance. And people love this one. I mean. Yeah, it's really nice what they did with the um, Venezuelan Tonka bean. It smells very gourmand. And like Chris said, you add that praline note in there, it really just boosts it up and makes it that much sweeter. And I think that's why these two are kind of viable contenders when clashing against one another because they're both within that gourmand family. So I can definitely see how if there is somebody out there, maybe you want to make your first purchase from Maison Dior, you don't really know which one to get, but you want to get a gourmand. You know, I can see the struggle between having to choose between Feb Delicious and Vanilla Diorama. Yeah, it's, it's a tough decision. I feel like it depends on where you live at in your climate. Maybe if you live in colder areas, like me and Steven, we live more on the East Coast, so we get rain, snow, we get all the seasons. And some people might live in warmer weather where they only get hot weather, right. like spring and summer all year round. So I feel like if you like, if you're spring and summer, I would lean towards uh, Vanilla Diorama. If you're fall, winter, I feel like you can get Feb Delicious. I think it depends on your where you live at. That's a really good point, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I see how the spiciness might make it a little bit more formal, whereas with Feb Delicious, maybe it's a little bit more on the sweet side, so it's a little bit more playful, a little bit more flirtatious. Do you have a favorite? If you oh, have man. to pick one between the two. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, um, they're, they're both amazing fragrances. I felt like the first time I experienced this brand before, you know, they it was the Privé you said, right, beforehand? Yes, that's right. Now, now it's just Christian Dior. I smelled Feb Delicious the first time a couple years ago, and me and Kelly fell in love with it. Yeah. Um, to this day, we both like it, and I think it's probably my favorite from the lineup. I yeah. mean, I do like Vanilla Dorama, but it's a newer release, so it's hard to say I love it, you know, better than the ori than this original one right here, but Fabulicio is probably my favorite, and Kelly loves wearing it, and I love wearing it as well. I think that's a great way to put it, too. <laughs> you know, when you've owned a fragrance for so many years, you cherish a lot of occasions that you've worn it in, and so you tend to associate a lot of really fond memories with it. And that's why, for the same reason, like, there's a soft spot in my heart for Feb Delicious. However, it's a little too soon to tell because Vanilla Diorama is definitely spicy, sweet leaning, can definitely get Feb Delicious a run for its money. So I suspect that if I spend a little more time with this one, maybe another year or two, maybe down the line in the future, I might look back and say, you know what? 
I think I like this one a little bit more than Feb. But <laughs> as far as right now, today's date, I would have to go with Feb Delicious. I really, really love this one. I can't. It's very hard to choose because they're both gourmand fragrances. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe if you like vanilla fragrances more than tonka bean, then maybe you want to lean towards vanilla Dorama. And it's not as heavy in your face as Feb Delicious is where, like, it's beast mode. I know people don't like using that word, but Feb Delicious is a beast mode, ticking time bomb, boom in your face type of fragrance. It's loud. Vanilla yeah. Dorama's... I would say it's kind of moderate. You still can smell it, but it's not like in your face where you can maybe choke somebody out as if you do overspray Febrilicios, it might not be a good day for you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I know where you're coming from. And in terms of the tonka bean that's used in here, at times, for me at least, it smells just a little, little powdery. And that's kind of ironic because with this one containing cocoa, I would have thought that this one would be a little powdery, but it's actually the other way around. So. Depends if you're into like the more spicy varieties of fragrances, like Chris said, you might be into vanilla diorama. However, if tonka bean is more your thing, you want a different kind of sweetness, definitely check this out. And the only other concluding thought that I would like to say is if you've smelled a lot of like mass marketed men's designer fragrances like Versace Eros or Invictus Aqua, and you're like, oh, I know what tonka bean smells like. Uh -uh. This one is a very different type of tonka bean, very natural smelling. I think in terms of the raw material used, it is natural and it's just miles ahead of other tonka bean based fragrances. So both of these are winners in my book. Me too. Now, if you decide to buy one and you want to try the other one, they do recommend they can send you a sample of the other fragrance that you like. You have to write it in the little notes before you order. You mm -hmm. can specify, can I get a sample of vanilla do Rama? And they'll send you a little small sample of which your other fragrance that you order or vice oh, cool, versa. Cool. So you can smell it and see if you like it. That's pretty nice if you would like to do that. So Yeah, so play around, take advantage of the opportunity. They also have Afterpay. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah. That's what I do with my so that bottle. Helps. That helps. Definitely helps. If, if, you're, if you're new to fragrances and don't want to blow a lot of money at one time, you pay little payments every two weeks and it's good. There's no interest, so you're nice. good to go. <laughs> Beautiful. Love it. So at the end of the day, I love the fragrance. I love both of them, but if I can only pick one because the money is tight nowadays in the world, I understand that. I'm going to go with Febrilicios all day. <laughs> yeah, and they do have it in a few different sizes, so you can definitely pick up the size that most closely corresponds with what you're willing to pay. And I'll leave the website down below if you would like to check out the Christian Dior website. Whether you live in the United States or overseas, the link, you just click on it and you can put in overseas or in America. So yeah. you'll find a price for you that fits you right. Thank you for watching another fragrance video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Stephen, for being back on the channel. Oh, my pleasure. I really do appreciate it, man. Of course. Um, if you heard these fragrances, let me know in the comment section which one's your favorite. We want to hear which one you guys love more. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye.